Hi everyone, welcome to the story of Chinese characters. This is Chang. So first character of today, this is Ji. Ji. Take a look at this Asian Chinese characters. The left part here, this means the silk, the silk, and here this part is a person kind of making a squat, and the bottom, this part is actually the hand. So it describes. A person is trying to separate the different layer of the fabric. So, so the meaning of the Asian character is different layers of the fabric. Now, then involved the meaning of different levels of fabrics, and now became the meaning of this character, the most frequently used meaning level. Right, and the structure of this character is combined by the radical and the sound component. Left part is radical to indicate this character has something to do with the fabric or the silk, and the right part, this character, same one, is ji, so represent the sound of the character exactly the same, which is not quite often, but it is the same for this one. So the useful vocabulary of this character we already learned in level three HSK, that is nian ji for grade or level. Nian means the year. And G means the level. So which year's level? Grade. Which grade? Right. Grade. And next one, 初级，初级。So this is actually direct translation and natural translation. G means the level, and the 初 here to represent elementary. So of course, the advanced level, aka the high level, would be 高级，高级。Right, go to represent high, so high level, advanced level. And last one, quite funny in HSK level four. This is 超级，超级，超 actually means super. So this is super level, level super combined still means super. Right. Next character, 金，金。Still, first take a look at this Asian character. Left part looks familiar, right? This is the same radical of of the previous character. This is also means the silk, and the right part is this symbol. Bottom part means the two, the two, and this part is actually to represent a picture of making the fabric. See this three line, three uh, a vertical line probably represent the fabric itself, and a hand or two. At the bottom, to make them straight, and there is a point to indicate the start of the fabric, just like this. So this is to describe to weaving the fabric in ancient time, and to weaving the fabric, you need to pass the fabric again and again. So later on, involved the meaning to pass, and form the most frequently used meaning of today. The structure is the same with the previous. Characters. Left part is the same. The radical to indicate the meaning of the character, and the right part to indicate the pronunciation. Jin, right? I can't find exactly the simplified right part. This is what used to be right for the traditional character. The right part. You could see the resemblance in here, right? But right now we write it like this. And use full vocabulary. The first one in HSK level two, 已经已经 This one 已 actually means already, and 已经 to pass already passed altogether still means already. And next one, 经常经常经 still means to pass, and 常 actually means frequently. So his action frequently, uh. Appears so, 经常 combined also mean often, or frequent, or frequently. Next one, 经过经过 This is quite simple. Both 经 and 过 means to pass by, to pass. So combined still means to pass by. And last one, 经验经验经 means to pass, and in the past, and 验 means to exam. To exam, so it's kind of like your past action that been examined, that becomes your experience, right? So, 经验 combined experience. Okay, next one. 
十，十。All right, take a look at this Asian picture. This part, the cover, actually indicate the roof or just the house, and the lower part, this, all of this, they are indicating the money, the money. So the meaning of 十 in ancient time probably means a house, a house full of money, to mean rich. And then later on, this meaning rich became kind of like concrete, the meaning concrete, because probably you're rich. Then the rich could be a very concrete thing. Oh, I don't really know how to explain this, but later on, it do involve the meaning real. Probably if you have money, you could have real life. You know, so for now the simplified characters uh, continue to use the same radical here. It means the roof, the the above part is radical roof, to indicate the meaning of the characters. Actually, have something to do with the original meaning. And the lower part also contribute part of the meaning. Uh, it used to write like this, uh, a little bit more complicated, but after simplified. This lower part simply, uh, we use the character head to instead of this part of thing, right? So that if you use this two part of meaning to combine, sometimes a bit it be a little bit hard to remember the meaning of the characters. So let me give you this picture to try to help you memorize. Just try to think. That there is a lie detector on your head, so you're going to tell the real thing, right? Just like a head, and on your head there is a machine over here. Just picture this as a lie detector. Maybe it helps you to memorize this character. All right, the vocabulary. First one, 其实 This one, 其 means that, and 实 means real, aka the fact. So that fact altogether means in fact. 诚实，诚 actually means to be honest, honest, and 实 means to be real, to be true. So pretty similar to um two similar meaning of the characters combined to form this vocabulary honest. And next one, 确实，确实。实 also function like the real or the fact, and 确 means indeed. So it's just like saying indeed the fact, or combined means indeed. And last one, 实在，实在 I don't really know how to explain this. This 在 I don't think it have concrete meaning. Just these two combined means really 实在 Or maybe just 在 could explain as exist. So something. Something exists in real reality, so combine meaning really, right? Next one. 习习 All right, I actually like this character. This is Asian one. The above part is the wing of the bird, and the lower part it's really hard to tell because we have different philosophy. We have different explanation about the lower part. Part of people say that's a that's a baby bird. So the the original meaning of this uh, character, she is actually a baby bird practice to fly to fly frequently, right? So later on, it be very easy to link to the meaning to practice, and then become meaning to study and also to practice. So. Because this is a single compound character, so there are no there are no kind of logic link behind the characters.、And、so let's take a look at the vocabulary. The first one, 学习 So 学 focused on to study, and 习 focused a little bit on the practice. That's our philosophy. You need to learn, and after that, you need to practice, and do it over and over. That's how you learn. The next one, 复习复 means repeat. So you repeat what you studied. That would be to review. And next one, 练习练 mean practice, and 习 I've already mentioned it means to study and also to practice. So to practice combined also means 
to practice. The last one, 习惯习 means to practice, and 惯 actually means a habit. A habit. So a habit, habit is formed by an action you rapidly exercised or practiced. So combine also means habit. Next one. Quite simple, right? G. G. I think you know the meaning of this one. This one means the machine, right? And this is Asian character. The Asian character, the meaning will be a will be a long gone for the modern meaning. They have very weak link between each other. In Asian time, the left part that's a tree, right? That's a tree. That's a wood. And right part, this this part, to indicate a mountain with only one top. So in the Asian time, this character to represent a kind of tree, on this kind of mountain. On this one top mountain and that kind of tree to indicate that kind of tree, and later on probably because in ancient time all the machines are made of wood, so later on they use this character, the probably they use this kind of wood I don't know to make the machine so evolved meaning the machine, and structure is quite simple left part is radical wood and right part you know this one G right G means how many. Just here to contribute to the sound, G, right?、Uh, it's the same initial and final. Just the only difference is the tone. Pay attention to the tone, right? So the vocabulary. The first one, very simple. The airplane, all right. The flying machine, the flying machine. And the next one, the hand machine. 手机 the hand machine. That would be your cell phone, the machine in your hand. And this one is interesting. 司机 a career, the driver. C actually means to operate, and G means the machine. So this is guy who operate the machine. That's the driver. And last one, a little bit complicated in HSK level four. 登机牌，登机牌，登 means get on board, get on board. And G actually here is short of 飞机 So get on board, get on board to the airplane. And 牌 means the card. The card. So this is the boarding pass card. The boarding pass. Next one. Hui. Hui. Another simple one. This is Asian character. Believe it or not, this one Hui means to have a meeting. See this probably the roof of the meeting room, and I don't know this slash what exactly means. But、uh, in the past, this roof and this slash all together. Is a meaning, probably、uh, it means to assemble the person. So probably the roof is a place, and this line to indicate where the people should be assembled. And this, I would like to picture it as a kind of small desk with a tea and coffee. And this would be the meeting area. Lots of people sit up here with a, a tea and coffee in hand and have the meeting. So in ancient time, means to gather people and to assemble. And now. One of the most frequently used meaning is the meeting as a noun. Another one, I don't know how evolved, but to represent to be able to. And、uh, sometimes I would like to translate it as be skillful of doing something. The skill that you learned, that you be able to. The structure of this character quite simple. A bottom part is a radical, a person, and the lower part.、Uh, The reason why become the cloud is because we simplify this part, right? So we we turn this complicated part of thing into this one. You can see the slash is here, and the rest we use something a little bit like a square actually to represent this. So as I mentioned, this is a simplified character, so it might have a weaker link to the original meaning and to the actual meaning. So let me give you a picture. Because the frequently used meaning is meeting, so it's kind of like、uh, most of people. I think during the meeting, the status of mind would be like this picture: a man on a cloud. All right. I hope this could help you to memorize the character vocabulary. 会议会议会议 meeting 议 discuss a meeting to discuss matters all together meaning. Oh, sorry, meeting. Next one, 社会社会
Show actually means association and society. And Hui here I probably translate to as the meeting as well. So this is a meeting and a symbol of all association and the societies. All together means society. Next one. Wu Hui. Wu Hui. This one Hui actually here probably means because Hui could mean meet to meet person to meet so they start to communicate and this one ooh, means mistakes so this is a communication mistake that would be misunderstand last one yue hui quite simple yue means uh, I have to say the word sorry yue means designed or scheduled and hui means meeting uh, a, a pre-scheduled meeting and here we we say it as date in Chinese. The next one. Zhu. Zhu. Alright, this is character has something to do with the religion. The left part means the sign. And the sign itself, this part, involved from the totem of the uh, ancient religion in China. And the right part, above, that's a mouse. And lower, that's a person. So the original meaning of this character is the head of the worship ceremony officer. So this uh, guy is, has something to do with the religion. After that, probably because of language during ceremony, you have some wishes. You wish to uh, maybe prosper for the country and for the family, something like that. Involved the meaning to become from a person, a noun, become a, become a verb, to wish. Structure of the radical I've already mentioned, left part is the radical sign, this part. And right part, now the character is called Xiong, the brother. But uh, uh, but here actually we just use a shape uh, for the above part mouse, lower part of person, to mean the praying person. Right? Whatever helps you to memorize the character. Or right, vocabulary. This not in HSK, but I've already mentioned. Very, very important. You could always use this as best wishes or best regards at the end of any letters. And this one, indeed, in the HSK level four. Zhu he. Zhu he. Zhu means to wish, and he means to congrat. Uh, so combine this two all together. Congratulations. Next one, shi, shi. See, that's why Chinese character is important because shi, the first shi you've learned that would be the to be or am is are, but different characters. So when you read Chinese, you definitely need them. All right, let's see the Asian characters. This is the one a little bit hard to explain. For the above part, this is actually a direction sign to mean to go here. So all the people from different route one, two, three, you should all go in here. And here is the square to indicate the zone of the area. And this part looks like a question mark. That's an ancient, very, very ancient original character of arrive. So every people from different direction go inside this area and stop here. Uh, why? Because this is a place we do business. So sure, the meaning is actually market, market, and as you may know, the layout of uh, of Chinese cities, ancient one. I mean, there are always one like the Forbidden City in the center of the city. That's where the governor and uh, kind of high ranking officer and all the rich people lives, and uh, the market will probably just beside that. So we call that area city. City. Right, and as it is a single compound characters, I don't, I can't really explain the structure of the character. I just hope this could helps you to memorize the character, because the original meaning is market, city market. So when you have market, you will need this. All right, I see the words first. Supermarket. Remember super? When we mentioned how to say uh, super in Chinese for the vocabulary. 超级, right? And here, 超市, supermarket, super, 
market and 城市, 城市. Both 城安市 means the city, just different part. I forgot which one means the small center city in, in the circle, in the center of the city. Another one means, uh, probably 城 means the area outside the city where the normal people live. And the 市 probably means the market of the city. There's another word for the center of the city for the emperor. But uh, for now, 城安市 or combined means the city. Next one. 关 Guan. Here, ancient Chinese characters. That's why we need to simplify them. This uh, took me maybe two seconds to write it for you, maybe five seconds. And this one literally took me oh, for a while. So the meaning of Guan means to close the door. See, that's the door, this, this part. That's the door. And these two actually are the wood for the door. So you close the door and you put some you put some wood behind it probably horizontally just to make it kind of like a, as a as a lock. So uh, the origin meaning of Guan is the closed door this. Okay? And of course involved meaning to become a verb to close. And also single combined Compound characters, I don't know. I hope this will help you to memorize the characters. And I don't know what relationship they have, but just this one looks to me a little bit like this character. So vocabulary, first one. Guan Xi. Guan Xi. I like this uh, meaning after this vocabulary. Guan means close. And she later on we'll talk about this. This one this one means to tie and to fasten. So you got a close relationship and you need to constantly fasten it. You can't live there. Alright, so all, all combined connection. Next one. Guan Xin. This one to close your heart. This one Xin is the heart. To close your heart, you have someone hiding your heart. You concerned about it. Guan Yu, this one Yu is just Asian character, probably don't have any concrete meaning for now. So Guan Yu just close to something regarding something. And uh, this one you learned for a long time. Mei Guan Xi, Guan Xi connections, and connections. And here Mei Guan Xi kind of like there is no connection. To you for this matter doesn't really matters or no bother. Here, she right really mentioned the the meaning for now. Uh, sorry, the meaning here. That's the original picture of this character. Literally means this picture. This here, this is a hand, is a hand, and this probably. To indicate where this lines come from, and you are just fasten it. This, so the original meaning of the character is to tie to fasten, and here become from the verb to become the non, the thing they're fasten, the the, the thing you're going to tie is the connection and the link. And we've already talked about this guanxi and mei guanxi, right? Connection. No connection doesn't really matter. And this one in HSK level four, lian xi, lian xi, both lian and xi means to link, to link. If you pay attention, see the right part of lian is actually guan xi guan close, close, and left part that's actually your ear, your ear. So you heard something and you connect them to link. And also this one to link all together to contact.